I was sent this laser bore cider tool, ask you my opinion on it, make this short video. So here it goes. Here's everything you're gonna get in the box. It's your user's, user's manual, which is gonna be important. It's gonna help tell you which of these fittings you're gonna use based on the caliber of your rifle. Now we have all these different sizes, all the way down to this tiny one here. And in my case, I'm gonna be doing a 223. So it's gonna need this very small, bore fitting here. Uh, you're going to get a screwdriver, just a regular Phillips tiny screwdriver. You're going to get this other piece here, it looks like a funnel. Then you're going to get two of these batteries. You're only going to need one for the device, they give you an extra one. You're also going to get some mounting screw here and a small Allen wrench. And then here's the device itself. It shows right on here, CR14250. That's the battery that you need. It only takes one. They give you two, but it takes one. Put the positive side down and then thread it on here. You should see that little line mark up, match up there. And now here's your button that you're gonna push. And then the laser is gonna shine out that side. And then this side here, this is where we're gonna use that very small mounting screw and we're gonna use the appropriate bore for your rifle to attach to this. And this whole piece here is gonna slide into the edge of the rifle, into the bore of the rifle. And we're gonna hope that this laser is in sync with where our scope is and we get a good accurate zero. So go ahead and pull from the manual here, right in the beginning, they're gonna show you all the different sizes and then they're gonna show you what size calibers for each of these different sizes. So in my case, I'm gonna go with 0 0.223. I'm gonna go with number two. And then from here, here's my number two. I'm gonna attach that onto the tip here like this. And you can see it's flaring out the tip just a little bit there. So this is gonna insert here, like this, and it's very snug. So if you notice that you can't get it in, you'll need to loosen this a little bit and that'll allow this to really compress back down because there's a little taper here too. And as you, as you tighten that, it'll flare out. So if it was loose, you'd wanna tighten this a little bit, flare that out, and then make a nice snug fit in there. But if it was a little too tight to start with, back this off and then it'll go in. It should be going in just perfect. Like I said, we've got the button right here, shooting out our laser. We'll go ahead and take aim with our scope onto a target. Okay, so we've got this rifle laying on its left side and I'm gonna look through the sight picture of the scope. Okay, I've got it now, the, the camera lined up so I can see through the scope and what you can see here is you've got uh, the reticle is centered and then to the right of it, you see the green dot. Now it's small, but you see that green dot just there. It's about three clicks down on the reticle. So that means that I've got to adjust my scope so that that green dot lines up right in the crosshairs. Now the rifle, remember, is laying on its left side right now. So this is not um, going to be my sight picture when I pick it up to shoot it but you can see how, how useful this green dot is. I can turn it off and now the dot is gone and I'll turn it back on and you see it line up right there. So I'm good left and right, but I've got to move that dot up in my sight picture. So I'll have to make some adjustments to my scope to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that right in this position. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the elevation. So I'm unscrewing the adjustment knob on the top. And I'm going to start to adjust these clicks and see how I change that picture relative to my green dot. You can see my reticle is now coming in closer, much closer. 
to the bore sight dot. And there I am. I'm right on my laser right there. So I've got a good starting point now. I'm going to put my cap back on. And what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to shoot a few rounds and some paper targets and verify what I found and then go back and check it again. But as you can see, that was real easy to do. I got a, a sight picture now where my uh, reticle is completely lined up with that bore sight laser. And that to me is a, the best place to start for bore sighting this gun and getting a full zero on it. Hey, I hope this video was helpful. Hope this information was useful to you. And as always, I hope you have a great day.